What is going on YouTube? It is 6.43 in the morning and me and my brother-in-law are heading to uh, Super Sunday. It's a cars and coffee type of thing. It's only Supras welcome. Well, any car are welcome, but it's literally just Supras. Uh, right now we are meeting up with uh, Studio RSR all the way in Anaheim. Even though the meet is literally like five minutes away from us, we're driving out 30 minutes to cruise with them to come back. Only reason is, is because I wanted content from um, the YouTube channel, like maybe some Supras doing pulls, or maybe me getting to do some pulls with some Supras. Uh, he's finally a uh, Bolton E50. Um, I'm a little bit more, a little bit more Bolton than him. I have a heat exchanger, he doesn't. So my car runs colder, his doesn't. But uh, yesterday we got a friendly little run, and we are neck to neck, so it's, it's, it's crazy. And we are both tuned by the same tuner too. <laughs> And uh, he, uh, right now, uh, I don't know if you guys remember my 20 inch wheels that I had in the front of my Rotini. I had to take them off. It's finally been more than a year with the sponsor. Good, good company, love the wheels, but don't ever run 20 inch wheels on a Supra because it destroyed everything inside from the car, like in the inside of the hood and all that. When I was putting on the headlight with them, I saw all the damages it caused and it really bothered me. And, uh, not just that, they're heavy wheels, super heavy wheels. And you could feel it when I would like race people or race in general. I went back to the stocks, car feels a lot better. I can finally turn however I want. Uh, it's a lot lighter, a lot faster. And it just feels good overall. So he let me borrow them for right now, but when I get paid, I'm gonna buy them off of him. And then powder coat them gloss black or matte black. And uh, hopefully right there is good. Then I'm gonna have to get a new front lip. The car is done. And from there we'll be good to go. The car will be, back, will be back to its state like once it's all done with the wheels and all that. Cause I was gonna order some TEs, but just for two front wheels with tire, I was looking at close to three grand. And it's like a three month process to get them. Cause it's like straight from Japan, I guess, apparently. I guess the color we were getting too was rare. So uh, I think I'd rather just rather spend my money elsewhere. Uh, if not, I'm gonna run the stock wheels for a while, powder coat with them. And then later on make the jump to those TEs because that would look very nice. But again, everyone has TEs on Supras. Like, I'll show you guys today at the meet. Literally all the Supras are going to have TEs. That's why me and him are both running a, a welt um, on the rears. Just different. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll pick up the vlog when I get over there. If I don't vlog on this, I'm definitely going to be vlogging on the GoPro. So yeah, I'll pick up the vlog when we get over there. Hey guys, we are here at Studio RSR with all the Supras. And Patrick still has the cleanest Supra. This guy has everything done to the car. Look at that. Roll cage, racing seats. And I'm buying, hopefully, this this week. Hopefully. Oh, what the hell? Honeycomb? It's pretty sick. Never seen that before. Dude, this looks like yours. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what was that? I think I take this one over Pat. Dude, I didn't even see this one. Fuck yeah. Yeah, they both have the expensive. Those are like the most expensive wings you can put throw on the car. Yeah, those two. They're like rare. If you have that wing, like you're you're different apparently. Freaking good ass wheels. We need to step up our wheel again. Fudge. And this is the Matt Psychedelic, huh? Oh, yeah. Looks real good. Jeez. And the far, yeah, they, 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 they make everything big. Guys, actually, I think I'm going to vlog with the, the camera I'm using right now. I don't really don't want to put on the GoPro. Because I'm, I'm like really tall and I'm close to the, the roof or whatever this thing. So I don't want to just be getting literally this the whole time and then looking like that. So I'd rather just record, show you guys. Even if there's wind noises, I try, I'll try to fix it when I edit it. But we'll see how that goes.
this was insane. Really fun cruising with a whole bunch of uh, other faster ladder Supras. Uh, that's why I want to buy the Tomei exhaust because I'm just straight piped uh, custom. To be honest, uh, I think I'm just going to start buying brand exhaust instead of doing cheapo mods on the exhaust. But Studio RSR built majority of these cars, uh, different, all different tuners, but uh, one of them, tr all these people tracked their car, majority of them, and they were just gliding through the freeway like nothing. Like I wish, I wish I could do that, but I'm not built for, for track whatsoever. And it's, 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 gosh, it's expensive. Like for example, this guy, he's running a $400 wing and then a $3,000 wing on top of it. Like that's insane. Like look at that, double wing. Jeez. Steering wheel, roll cage, and he's on welds. This thing's making insane power too. And this guy literally built this car so fast. Oh, Guys, if you guys want to see me drive this car, let me know. I'm going to try to get Patrick to let me drive it because he's a little girl when it comes to pulls. I'm going to show him what real power is. The key holder is pretty sick. Did you see the key holder? Yeah. It's fucking sick. Interior is perfect. Look at that steering wheel. It's the one I want. Jeez. Roll cage and everything. <laughs> I don't see him. Oh, oh there he is. So cute. He has a hat. Which hat? With the Supreme, the black, <laughs> the white letters. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Goodness. Where are you running on? Just flexing all over us. I think it's on turbo too. It is on? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. 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 Bro, I thought mine, I thought ours were a flex. Look at this. I think they're both on skinnies, no? Okay. Jeez. Yeah, they're both on skinnies, bro. Yeah. Guys, look at this one. So everyone here literally has TEs. You got this Libra. Got that Supra, got two Supras over there, a couple more over there. Very common to see them, but these are the ones I was going to get for the front. But a different color, a little bit darker, but exact same way, red and all that. And it was like three grand out the door for just two in the front, and it was like a two month wait. So I wasn't down for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and powder coat the ones I have on right now, like Freddy's. Alright guys, so we are back home. Uh, right now, I, we just left like five minutes ago from the spot, we're only five minutes away. And uh, talking right now to a couple of people that have big companies out there, sponsors and all that. Uh, I'm getting a new lip again. I'm waiting for my sponsor to finish it. I uh, should be getting it in two weeks from now, actually. So new lip is going on. Uh, I'm going to buy these off my brother-in-law. Powder coat them matte black or gloss black. Uh, get spacers. Do a conversion kit um, because those are very annoying to take off. And then... I'm going to be ordering, hopefully, side skirts. If I don't do side skirts, carbon fiber, I'm for sure going to either do a Tomei exhaust or a roll cage. Uh, reason is, uh, I was talking to someone there, and he has a pure 850. And uh, we actually raced it on the way home, uh, on the way to the meet. And I beat him by two car lengths on the first race. And on the second race, he beat me by two car lengths. So it was like dead even, neck to neck sometimes here and there. He told me don't waste your money on a big turbo unless you're ready to go port injection and trans. All that's like roughly like $12,500 with installment. Uh, without it, you could just do the uh, period 150, but you have to give your core. So it's like $2,400 and then like $400 to install. And it takes them like literally two hours to install a period 100 kit because they're so used to it. And then uh, transmission is like $6,000. They have to ship it out to Florida, I believe. And it takes two weeks to ship out. Two weeks back and it takes a day for them to install so it's like roughly a month under to do everything port injection is a three thousand dollar kit or four thousand dollar kit no four thousand dollars so they quoted me to run full 85 and and all that's from meth etc and they do like little switches for the car now all that is just a little bit too much right now too hectic right now 12 grand is a little bit too much 
Uh, I think maybe I'm gonna build the car a little bit little. So for sure I do want to do a roll cage because this car is very small. God forbid I ever get into an accident, the roll cage will save my life and my passenger's life, which is my girlfriend. Uh, which is really, it comes in handy. A lot of people run it, it looks pretty good. And uh, a lot of people are like, oh, how much power is this car pushing? Everyone thinks it's pushing like 600, 700, 800 wheel, 9,000, I mean 1,000 because of the headlight exit and the welds. This car is making, I have no, I have no reason to hide my power. I could care less if car crews or car, whatever the freak you want to call them, groups find out what I'm making and want to race me. It's making 520 wheel with 680 torque. It's in the 500 club. Uh, it, I will be maxing it out to like close to 600 on stock turbo before anything happens. Um, people are saying to just dial it in, keep it maintenance, and the engine should last you for a while, a long time actually. The only thing that you'll be going through is your stock turbo. So I'm going to wait for that, knock on wood, that, wait for it to blow up. Once it blows up, I'll get the Pure 800, then from there concentrate on the build. If not, like I said, I do want to go cosmetic wise right now, I want to powder coat that, get side skirts, better diffuser, lip, and then rewrap the hood, rewrap the bumper, and then rewrap the side door because... It peeled right there, and then just ceramic coat the whole thing. The whole car ceramic coated. It it beads like crazy. It's awesome. But uh, I do want to redo a lot of things to this car. I don't plan on selling it anytime soon, unless I can get my hands on a GTR, which is probably not going to happen. But once that happens, GTR will be going through a full change if if I ever get one, when I ever get one, because they're very pricey cars right now at the market and all that. Everything's just high up on prices. So uh, I have a video up for you guys that I do want to do. And let me know in the comments below if you guys made it this far, which I hope you guys did. Uh, I want to put a GoPro to my like a head strap mount and do like a Supra ASMR. If you guys don't know what that is, look up Supra ASMR on YouTube. And it's just no, not me talking at all, which is good. And it's just videos of the exhaust, the burbles, downshifts. It's just so cool. Like, I want to do one. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on what should I do next. Thank you very much.